Good morning. Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Daphne's Bird Barn. My name is Misty and um, we're going to try something new. This is going to be my uh, very first Let's Talk Crochet Tuesday. Um, we're going to cover everything that there is to cover regarding crocheting, terms, hooks, uh, different types of yarns, how to read the labels, Basically, it'll be like a beginner course every Tuesday to teach you how to crochet. Or if, um, if you see this, if there's anything that you are struggling with to crochet or stitches, uh, leave me a comment in the comment box and I will see what I can do at the next video to answer any questions you have about crochet. So, um, the first thing I want to talk about is like the benefits of crochet because to me crochet it started out as a form of therapy I have really 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 bad anxiety especially anxiety around people or just about anything can stress me out um, so it started off that way um, I started crocheting after I had my son Cooper he's now six years old I went through a very, very traumatic delivery with him. Not The delivery itself wasn't bad. It was more what happened after I had him. Because I had him through a scheduled C-section. That went uh, as planned. But the day I got out of the hospital, I had a really, really big fever. I mean, I was already in the hospital for four days. Who wants to go back? Um, Thankfully, my husband took me in. Uh, you could watch the red line creeping up my belly. That's how bad the infection was. And so, well, I got to stay in the hospital for another month because I had MRSA. So a lot of my anxiety issues happened or started coming out right about then. Um, and so I needed something to do to keep my mind busy so I wouldn't have the panic attacks that I was having all of the time. So my best friend Ashley came to my house and I went to her house and she taught me a few of the basic stitches and then I was on my way to the best hobby I've ever had. I really, really love crocheting. So crochet can help with anxiety. Um, it can help with stress. It, um, it's been proven to help people who have insomnia because of the crochet it's just, it's kind of like a, um, it's got such a soothing effect to it that it could actually help your mind start to relax and then you can fall asleep easier. So, and then, um, let's see, I got some more here. It does help to reduce the risk of cognitive impairments like Alzheimer's. Um, it's... Also, it can help you with um, hand pain, which I had. I injured my hand right here. Um, pretty good. And I only wore my cast for two days and it got in the way. So I cut it off myself and went about my business. And it didn't heal, heal properly. I don't recommend doing that. And uh, so I've always had a lot of hand pain there and wasn't able to use my thumb like I was able to. And crochet has actually helped me get a lot of the range of motion back in my thumb, the strength. It doesn't hurt all the time anymore. And it's great. Let's see. After you complete a crochet project, it's kind of like a boost to your self-esteem because you finished it. Like when I finished my shirt that I made, I was very, very happy and I couldn't wait to try it on. But it just, it gives you a good boost of self-esteem, confidence, stuff like that. Um, it can help you feel in control because you get to pick what project you work on, what type of yarn you're going to use, the hook, all of that. Um, you also, I mean, you choose how quickly or how slowly you want to go as well. So, and then because crocheting, you're kind of looking at your work and you got to, if you've got a dark yarn, it's hard to see the stitches. So your eyes really have to focus on it. 
It helps to strengthen those eye muscles. So there's another benefit of it. So, um, I am sure that there are tons and tons and tons of other benefits of crochet, but those are just the few for me that I found. Um, so crochet, crochet, crochet. It's really, it's fun and it can be quite addicting. Um, when I get my yarn stash all set up, I will take you guys out there for a video tour of how much yarn I actually have. It's going to be fun because I don't know how much yarn I actually have. I do know that what I have out in the storage shed takes up a good one whole wall. <laughs> yeah. And then, well, I got a lot, lot of yarn over there in totes. And I can count one, two, three, four. Seven totes over here in this area that are full of yarn. One so full I can't even put the lid on it. And then I have a little box up on my um, wall that's also full of yarn. Oh, I have a shelf up on my pegboard. It's got about five skeins of yarn up there too. And it's all over my desk <laughs> behind my computer. So um, well, that's going to be all for our first... Um, Let's Talk Crochet Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, you'll keep getting notifications for when I have the Let's Talk, Let's Talk Crochet Tuesdays. Um, I also do a Whip Wednesday, so you'll get to see what I'm working on on Wednesdays. On Thursday, I bring in a bird... So, I mean, it's called meet a chicken Thursday, but I have chickens, ducks, turkeys, and guinea hens. I think that's all. Um, so I'll bring one of them in each Thursday and you guys will get to meet them. Fun facts about what breed they are. Some of them I don't know because they're barnyard mixes. So we'll just find some chicken facts to go over. And then um, on Fridays, I do a fix it Friday. They're fun, and it's a lot of work to fix it Friday. So, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you back here next Tuesday, and we'll talk some more crochet. We'll um, go over a lot of the tools that are used in crochet, and you'll get to see some of them. I'll pull them out. So have a good day, and we'll see you next time.